Well, you and I selected the fabric, so basically it was my job then to go styling it with you, uh, reaching out to the mill, and then meanwhile, Alex has been cutting your patterns, distributes it with the trimmings, the, the canvassing, the melton, the lapped hair, the pocketings, bundled together and given out to the relevant parties making your garment. Sitting nice and there. Uh, how's that feel? Yeah, it feels great. I mean, it, it looks yeah. fantastic. I've actually selected a fantastic brace of heritage guns, which really? I would love to show you, which I think will be ideal for what you're going to be doing in Scotland. The, the basic weaving principle is still as it was done over a hundred years ago on this site in Hoyk. So we're still the basic principle, but now we're weaving on carbon fiber rapier machines. I'm Kirby Allison, and for years now, I've been exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. I've been invited on my very first game shoot up on an estate in Scotland, and I wanna make sure that I do it properly. The proper outfit, the proper guns, the proper etiquette. But in today's world, does all of this still exist? And if so, why? Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and today I'm in Fife, Scotland at Craig's Anchor Estate. I've been invited by the estate owner, Jason Herkes here, to experience my first driven shoot. I couldn't be more excited for this entire week. As those of you know, we have had quite a journey to finally end up here in Fife, and I couldn't tell you how glorious and beautiful this is. So let's go inside and speak with Jason and learn a little bit more about the rich history and heritage of this country estate and all the amazing things that they do here. Join me. Jason. Uh, Kirby. Uh, good, good morning. Good morning. I hope, yeah. you, hope you slept well. Oh, you know, some of the best sleep I've had in a long time. Excellent. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. I mean, the room I have upstairs, I mean, overlooks, you know, the field right in front of the house waking up to the morning sunlight, to the birds. Yes, uh, I mean, some of the best, uh, yes, best sleep I've had in a long time, and really it was difficult to pull myself out, but the breakfast was worth it. <laughs> excellent, excellent. It's a fantastic view to the south. The, the rooms on the south, facing out the south view there, are some of uh, the most untouched views you, you could see. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it never gets old. It never does, yeah. never does. So, um, well, thank you so much for having me up. Uh, but I thought it would be fun for you to speak a little bit just about the history of this great house. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, yes. and everything that you guys do here. Yes, sir. Um, the house the house and the grounds were uh, originally passed to the, the Spence family mm -hmm. in the 1300s, really? way, way back in the 1300s. Um, through that time, they come through some turbulent times, uh, the Catholic Protestant Reformation. Um, and we get to a point of the 17, 1800s where the grounds were, the, the, the main house that sits here now, was built by Nathaniel Spence. Through, through all the troublesome times, the history kind of picks itself back up that time where he built the house that currently stands just now. On the fireplaces, you'll see his initials carved into some of the wood fireplaces. Okay. The crest at the front of the house has his initials mm -hmm. on it. So 
Um, Nathaniel Spence was his name. He was a physician in okay. Edinburgh. Wow. And he was also a member of the Royal Archers, which was really? the bodyguard of the, the King and Queen. So. Okay, so quite a prestigious kind of honor, honorary position, much yes. like the Queen's yes, Guards. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. That, was, that was the Queen's Guards of that period. Yeah. I mean, we flew into Edinburgh uh, and then drove up through St. Andrews, which you guys are just a stone's throw from. And it's really amazing to just think about everything from an outdoors perspective that you have within just a few miles of the house. Yes, sir. Yes, there's uh, fantastic outdoor activities everywhere in, in the Kingdom of Fife, from golf to shooting to mm -hmm. fishing. I mean, it, it's all here to be had. Yeah. yeah. And so the people that come to the house, I mean, are you helping organize shoots? We are. We are. We're, we're kind of the connection between the, the shooting ground with the tying in the accommodation. Mm -hmm. And the house is also endorsed by Orvis. Yes, that's correct. Uh, Orvis endorsed Wing Shooting Lodge, um, one of the only ones in the UK. We are the only one in the UK. Really? Yes. Um, so we get a lot of traffic coming through Orvis. We have it on good authority that you work with really one of the most prestigious and well-respected gamekeepers in all of Scotland, George Elliott. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, that we do at uh, Burkhill Castle. Um, Burkhill Castle produces some of the, the best birds in, in, in the Fife area and they never disappoint. Well, I think we have an opportunity, George is going to actually take us through Burkhill Castle and show us the work that he does as a gamekeeper, really managing not just uh, the wildlife but the land. The land, yeah. And it's something we look forward to. Oh, you, you, that'll be very enjoyable. George, George is very knowledgeable about all the, the things that surround the, uh, the shooting lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. In the house, how many guests can the house accommodate? The house has 13 bedrooms, okay. double bedrooms, all double occupancy. So, okay, um, so that's 26 partners, people. With partners, yeah. and then we've got an additional four villas that are all three bedrooms, three double bedrooms again. So 26. really, I mean, the house can, you know, can accommodate well over 50 people. Yes, so we could do double bookings if we've got a team of golfers and a team of shooters, we, mm -hmm. we could comfortably accommodate them. Well, can we see some of the rooms? You certainly can, yeah. certainly. Beautiful. This is a restaurant, Kirby. Okay. Um, breakfast, dinners, lunches, yeah. all, all take place in here. Um, this, the picture behind you here is Nathaniel Spence. That's, that's Nathaniel and his uh, Royal Archers outfit, oh, wow. uh, showing the, the bow and arrow of the time. Hmm. Amazing. Yeah, we, whenever we arrived last night, I mean, there's no shortage of fireplaces here, and they all had roaring fires. I mean, the ambiance. It uh, really was as one would expect on a proper Scottish country yes. house. I mean, it really is beautiful. Um, and, uh, you know, I guess the restaurant serving, what, three meals? Incredible yeah. food. Three, three we times. had dinner last night. The food was exceptional. Uh, and so, I mean, you know, again, the chef is, uh, of Good. the house is exceptionally talented. Yes, yes. We've got a, a motto in our restaurant that we use locally sourced ingredients. Uh, we produce as much as we can in our, our own estate really? here. So the, the, the food that's served on, in our uh, restaurant would, would come from our wall garden itself. Yeah, uh, amazing. It very fresh. So you guys are growing the produce actually on the estate itself as much that we as you are. can. That we are. Yeah. yeah. Well, it certainly comes out in the flavors, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. That's, that's good to hear. Yeah. yeah. Well, great. Well, what else do we have down here? We have a transition room. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this, this would be just a little uh, transition room between restaurant and bar. Um, yes, we come into the transition room here. Uh, this would be a small area. You could, you could pick up your drinks in the bar before going to the restaurant. You would sit here, you have a nice drink. And likewise, when you when you finish in the restaurant, mm -hmm. you could retreat here for a cup of coffee. Yeah, and back, some back towards the bar. Back towards the bar. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And some stunning views. The south. You're in the center center location of the house, mm -hmm. looking out to the south views, which are spectacular. Yeah. yeah, doesn't get any better than this. That's for sure. Wow. Yeah. Uh, well, it's great seeing the fireplace here. I mean, uh, we're gonna have to spend one evening here. And are these Nathaniel's initials? What's the crest above? Yes, that's exactly what they are, Kirby. That's uh, Nathaniel Spence initials that, that were engraved into the, the fireplace. So this piece of wood is dated from late 1700s. Really? Yes, so sir. Original to the house. Original to the house. That's amazing. I mean, that's, you know, as old as America. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I see some roe deer here. Yeah, Just amazing. over 
Where are they? Over on the the green field, you've got the plough field, a green field, uh -huh. and then the gorse bush. Just at the back side of the green field, I think they've maybe just popped into that gorse bush to maybe settle down for the day. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Are they most, the most active in the morning? In most the active evening? in the morning and the evening, yeah, dusk yeah. and dawn. I mean, it's amazing all the wildlife kind of in and around the property. Uh, I woke up this morning to the sounds of songbirds and I haven't seen, can I take a look? Yeah, certainly. Um, and then we saw some deer earlier on the fields. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful patch right there and I can see I can see some pheasants, you know, pecking along on the little the car path yeah. right there to the right. That's beautiful. Absolutely. Beautiful the countryside here is yeah. some of the most beautiful I've ever seen. Uh, I mean, the hours between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. with the sun rising, kind of casting, you know, the early morning light oh. across these beautiful fields. You know, the goss, the yellow goss right there. Yeah. You know, kind of being lit up. Yep. Uh, it's just absolutely the marvelous. Colors, the shadows that they created with the trees. You know, the long and, shadows. Yeah. I mean, this estate is, um, I mean, gosh, what a gem. I yeah. Mean, absolutely gorgeous. So I have to say, I'm so excited for this week and to really be able to experience firsthand this beautiful Scottish countryside that you guys have up here in Fife. Certainly. We're very happy to have you here and uh, we'd love to show you what yeah. we have to offer here. Yeah. And, yeah, great. Craig's Anchor Estate. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, there's no, no hotel without a good bar. <laughs> yeah, this is a great one. Yes. Uh, this, is a, this is the bar. You can come in here for uh, drinks before and after. Um, fine selection of whiskies from the Isle of Whiskies to the Highland Whiskies mm -hmm. to Speyside and the lowland. So. Yeah, and beer on tap. And beer on tap. <laughs> produced Scotland. Beer, oh. lager that's produced in Scotland. Oh, real, real nice lager. Yeah, and of course another fireplace. Another road and fire, yes. Winters in Scotland, much needed. Much yes, needed. much needed. Then. Yeah. Uh, well, great. We should take you upstairs, Kirby. I'll yeah. show you some of the rooms. Yeah, thank you. Have. It's a beautiful grand staircase. It's, it's a lovely staircase. Original. Really? Original staircase, yes sir. Um, and look at the skylight at the top. Beautiful, the way the light flows through yeah. the building. The early light from the east side of the building then flows all the way up. Yeah, I think I could live like this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take you through to uh, room five. Um, it's the master bedroom of the house and it's where you'll be staying at your ah, time, yeah. Yeah, thank you, wow. That's a beautiful room. Yes. <laughs> I mean, only surpassed by the view. Yes, yeah, yeah. Fantastic view again, the south views, south views being the, the very, very nice views of the property. Um, yeah, it's a very comfortable room. I mean, despite being a house that's you know pushing three, four hundred years, yeah. uh, it is you know in great condition. Yes, uh, I mean totally updated. I mean, it's absolutely modern. The the property, all these older properties, it was it was modern amenities that they had in, yeah. in each of the rooms. They were always they always had the state of the art stuff. So yeah. as we progress, we like to we like to update them with, with modern furniture because. We feel it's fitting to, yeah. to the people that would originally have owned properties yeah. like such. Absolutely. Well, the views are beautiful and I've slept the window open, you know, last night and, uh, you know, the fresh Scottish air yes. uh, and then just waking up to the sound of the birds. Yeah. I mean, really, I mean, it was, uh, you know, certainly no exaggeration, one of the best nights sleep. Certainly no I've road in a noise. a long time. <laughs> yeah, no, no road rodents. noise. <laughs> yeah, no road noise for sure. Yeah. Um, and so all of the rooms are really appointed to this this standard? Yes, all rooms are, are of a very similar standard. Um, the bathrooms, the showers, the, the soaker tubs is, is kind of consistent throughout throughout this this uh, first level. That yeah, we yeah, well let's go take a look outside. Yes, certainly. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know, have you ever leave this place? Well, it's very difficult. <laughs> it's tough to drag yourself back home. It certainly is. <laughs> 
Mm. And the wall garden to our right there, Kirby, that's yeah. where the, the, the vegetables are produced that you, that you eat in the restaurant. Yeah, very, it's a very old structure. So was the purpose of the walled garden just to keep, you know, the vermin out from eating the the food? That's exactly. That's one of the one of the reasons for it. Another reason is creating the microclimate that allows the vegetables to grow. Really? Uh, keeping the keeping the heat up. Um, huh. so you could grow things in there that wouldn't necessarily grow out with the really? walled garden conditions. So it was able to create its own microclimate. Own microclimate, yes. Really? Sir. How's that? Just with the, the intake of the, the sunlight, all south facing, the slopes, they're all sloped north to south, mm -hmm. and uh, the exposure to the sunlight. The wind, the prevailing wind coming from the west is blocked by the high walls. Okay. So there, therefore generates its own microclimate. Radiant temperatures from the stone structure itself all help to create that, that microclimate inside. And when do you think that walled garden was built? Uh, I'm going to say uh, uh, probably in the 1300s. It was built in three layers. Hmm. There was one layer built round, probably about shoulder height. Yeah. Then another layer, and then another layer to complete it to the height that it has. It's at. Originally, burner houses at the back, and they would heat the back wall to keep produce growing in the greenhouse throughout the winter months. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. And so now that's used as an actual source for the restaurant itself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, it's really farm to farm to table, if farm you will. To table. You that's, know, from, that's the motto. Yes. You know, from not just the produce, but a lot of the game that you guys serve on the menu. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. So, what is this right here? Originally, this this would be the the coach house. This yeah. is where the coaches would be held. Stable blocks. So fireplaces again, roaring fires within. Yeah. Uh, warm up the carriages before the Lord and Lady came over to, to really? go wherever they wanted to go. Yeah. Yeah, so. Okay. Uh, and then today, uh, how are you using it? Today we're, we're using uh, this as locker room facilities for the shooting. So you could come over in here, you could uh, slip out your nice clothes, you could put on your waterproof proof clothes, you could get your mud boots on, yeah. and you could head to the field to shoot. Yeah. So this is where kind of all the shoots get set up first? Yes, sir. Yeah. This is where you'd leave from. Okay. Yes. Yeah, well this is absolutely beautiful. And again, privileged to be here. And I couldn't be looking forward to the next few days uh, with any greater excitement. Yeah, Jason, thank you so much. Good be yeah. pleasure. Yeah, pleasure's, pleasure's mine. mine. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I mean, absolutely incredible. So generous of Jason to invite us out. Uh, and I couldn't be more excited about what we have in store this week. I mean, just the natural beauty of this estate that is really astounding. I mean, the rolling hills, the beautiful birds and wildlife you see around the grounds, uh, the incredible restaurant, the roaring fire, the beautiful rooms. Uh, and then the best part, of course, is access to the outdoors. Uh, golfing at St. Andrews, uh, shooting, which is what we came here for, uh, even just hiking. This is some of the most beautiful countryside that Scotland has to offer. And I have to say, we got exceptionally lucky with even the weather. Of course, I'm Kirby Allison and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thank you for watching. Thank Welcome. you for making it up. Scotland. Yes, exactly. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. We get the guns out. How's the journey? Easy? Yeah, it's good. Wow. Let's just look at that. There we go. We're going to see how you perform shooting a simulated driven target, which is of a clay pigeon today. 